Hello, my name's Dave. I'm with the Regal UK team at Telonic Instruments Limited. I have a really interesting mix of gear here today. Professional gear, amateur gear and the new Regal DSA 875 7.5GHz Spectrum Analyzer. One of the things I love doing with this Spectrum Analyzer is playing with amateur uh, bits of kit. And here we've got a fantastic example of a Klystron oscillator. Look at that beautiful waveguide there. It's not very often that you see one of those waveguides. It's got a nice mixer diode output which we're not using today. And the ideal amateur heat sinking here to let out the heat from the Klystron valve which is hiding inside this die cast box. So that is where we're looking for some microwave radiation today to come out of this Klystron. I'm very excited by this because I've never fired up a Klystron before today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to point that waveguide. Of course you should, you should never look down a waveguide. That's an important piece of safety information. You don't know what's coming out of it. I know this isn't fired up just yet, but we're going to try and look for some signals here on this straightforward trace. 0 to 7.5 gigahertz on the DSA875 spectrum analyzer. I'm just going to see if I can see my Klystron oscillator today. And to fire up the Klystron I'm using two uh, professional power supplies. The Regal DP821A, 0 to 60 volts. I'm going to use that as a tuning oscillator for the reflector on the Klystron. And then also the Kikasui PWR 1600H. This is an amazing power supply. It will do DC up to 650 volts at 8 amps. So it's a little bit overkill and I've had to put some safety features on this uh, power supply to make sure that it's safe today. Everything is earthed through to the earth on the Regal right here and I know that this setup is pretty safe. So what I've done is uh, I've used the Kikasui as the resonator voltage which is going to go up to about 300 volts and if we don't see any output before 300 volts then that Klystron sadly is dead. So let's see whether we can get anything to come out of it today before we blow it up with more than 300 volts. So uh, what I've done is I've pointed that away from my eyes towards the input of the analyzer. I've left the analyzer with its maximum attenuator and I'm going to gently increase the volts to see output before I overcook the input of the analyzer. We always have to be careful to protect the input. Okay, so here we go. Right now, I've just got 10 volts on my Kikasui. I'm gently going to uh, punch that up. It's already up to 90 volts, 100 volts, and I think we might already be seeing something coming on. No, not yet. Where are we at right now? 190 volts. I'm pushing up the reflector voltage. Still 60 volts on the on the reflector. Sorry, I'm pushing up the resonator voltage. And we're now at 220 volts. So I am expecting to see something. Oh look, look at that, look at that, there we go. We can see just a little bit of a trace of about 7 gigahertz as I increase the voltage. Can you see that coming up there? There it is. So 250, 260, 270, 280, 290. Let's try just moving that waveguide a little bit. I'll just prove to you that it is actually that peak. It's probably reflecting off a few of the devices nearby. Well, this is a really nice little peak. Let's just see if we can uh, add a marker and quickly work out whereabouts that is. So the marker has quickly found the, the peak at uh, 5.71 gigahertz. Let's um, use our marker function here. Marker to center frequency. That's putting that right in the middle of the screen. Let's now decrease the span of this instrument. There we go, that's my signal. Lovely, lovely waveguide output from it. And if I increase the noise floor, the reference level, 
of this trace. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll push the noise floor down a little bit. You can see my spike a little bit more clearly. I love the sweep speed on this analyzer. It's moving. Can you see the peak is moving? I'm going to try and adjust it. Oh yeah. Look at that. Can you see that? I'm adjusting the bias voltage here. So I pushed that up to 300 volts. There it goes again. So it's very dependent on the voltages on the electrodes on the klystron. But this is a very nice little test. And you can see how easy it is to start to understand microwave components. There you go, the device is warming up a little bit now. Uh, do be careful if you are playing with klystrons, there are high voltages on them. Always make sure that your outer case stays at earth potential and make sure you protect yourself with current limits on the power supplies. So, just to close and round up, we've been looking at the output from this klystron. Right now you can see the centre frequency is around about 5.69 gigahertz. That's the output from this Pystron oscillator here. Um, and that's um, probably about uh, 50 dB, uh, 50 milliwatts or something like that. Um, and I can very clearly see the frequency can be changed and altered by adjusting the bias. So definitely coming from my Pystron. That's a nice example of uh, Klystron Oscillator and what we've done is we've demonstrated the fun you can have with Regal's new 7.5 GHz DSA 800 series, uh, Regal's power supply, DP800 power supply and of course the faithful Kikasui PWR professional high voltage power supply. Thank you very much for watching.